Wow, we uh, really heard from God uh, reading his word that uh, it was a beautiful thing that Jesus said about a man laying out a banquet and inviting people to come. People were not coming. He sent some more people. They were not coming. He then sent more people. It looks like in the man's heart, he really wanted people to come and celebrate and enjoy. And as we look at that scripture, it became clear that this, was, this man was actually God whose heart was to gather people and just make them celebrate and be happy. And it's just the love of God that comes through in that kind of a passage. So we thought, well, we also do a banquet. We invite people from all across the town, other parts of Accra, to come and join us. So I spoke to my church. We said, where would we get the money from? I said, all of them should contribute money. So, the first, so we raised over 30,000 cities at one offering and we use all of them for this party. So nobody is paying for this, but we believe that we want to be like how it was in the scriptures. We want to be like how God wants it to be, which is that he wants people to come and know that he loves them, he cares about them, and it is in celebrations like that, in that kind of context, that Jesus will speak his word and let people know that, wow, here is the savior for the whole world. So not not only speaking the word, but also providing uh, and creating a context like this where people can truly, truly celebrate. So the banquet was like that, and actually it's gone beyond our wildest dreams. I think we set up for about 1,200 people. I hear more than that have been at this banquet. So we are encouraged. Uh, the gospel has been preached. Uh, we had more than 50 people coming to know Christ today, which is the greatest, the greatest thing that could ever happen to anyone. So we are very, very excited about this. And we believe that God has given us a pattern now. So every quarter we shall do something like this to the glory of his name, gather people, celebrate, preach the gospel, people are saved, and people will be turning away from their sins and coming to know Jesus Christ. There's no greater thing than that.